right, here we are on the boat, getting ready to uh, get it started and head out. And I'm going to do a quick uh, check of the antifreeze and oil before we start, so you can kind of see that process. Here's how it goes. So the engine in here is a Yanmar 3GM uh, 30F, which is a three-cylinder diesel. And uh, first thing that I usually do is a, make, check the antifreeze, make sure that um, the antifreeze level is uh, is high and it is perfect right there. Next thing is checking the oil. Oil on this thing is a little hard to get to. Now this engine is similar to what we had on our last boat. Our last boat had a Yanmar 2GM 20F. And this one, it looks exactly the same as this, except it has, this one has three cylinders and you can see right there, there are the three injectors there, one, two, and three. But my other boat, it was much easier to get to the dipstick, which is down there in that corner because the other boat had a, an access panel in the side here that you could get to. But there's no way to put an access panel in here so you can get to it easier. So you just kind of have to uh, reach in there and get it by feel. It's somewhere down there. There it is. And then um, getting it back in is a little more difficult because then you have to uh, try to get it in there by feel. But I'm going to wipe that off. I don't have hands. Uh, I got to do uh, get my other hand free here. But that's... Um, Checking the oil and the antifreeze. So the oil is in good shape, and uh, I got the dipstick back in there, but of course it took two hands to get it in there. Um, this, uh, this is pretty good for this engine. It doesn't use any oil. It doesn't burn any oil, which is always good. But one thing that it does do, which I have to figure out and uh, do some work on, is it has this, this alternator right here, which is a Balmar high output alternator. It takes more you know, to turn it than a regular alternator, so you have to have a nice belt on there. So that has a, a, a Gates green stripe, which is like probably the best belt you can buy. But one of the things that I notice I'm getting is if you look down there on the bottom, you can make out, is uh, some belt dust, which tells me that something isn't aligned properly there with either the alternator or uh, maybe even the raw water pump down there, but I believe it's coming from the alternator because you can kind of see some belt dust around here. My guess is is it, that needs to needs some some more alignment of, of somehow, so I'm going to have to figure out the, how best to do that and then change that belt. The belt's actually in good shape, uh, so it doesn't need changed right away, but one of the things on the list is to figure out uh, how to align that alternator a little better to the crankshaft and the uh, fresh water pump. But that's another thing on the agenda to, to be fixing later. So all the checks, the pre-start checks are done. And now let's go ahead and fire it up. sailing in the bay today and actually we're not quite in the bay yet we're still in the Severn River but I've got all three sails up I've got the, the the Genoa the staysail and the main up 
So I normally don't put the staysail up because I don't have the staysail boom rigged. So it's rigged up without the boom, which if you look at different places, people that use those, they say you can go either way. So I'm still kind of debating on whether or not we're gonna go with the staysail boom. But uh, it seems to be working as far as I can tell without the boom. So, um, you know, we may, I may put it on and try to do that at some other point. The problem with putting the staysail boom on right now is it doesn't have a topping lift in the front. So I've got to, I've got to get hoisted up the mast and put a topping lift in the front. So as soon as I get a chance to find somebody to hoist me up there, then uh, I'll put that topping lift in and then we can try it with the boom at some point. But right now, uh, relatively light winds. And my hope was to put the spinnaker up today because we haven't had the spinnaker up yet. But the winds are kind of coming from the wrong direction unless we go pretty far out. So we'll, we'll see if, the, if we can get the winds to cooperate uh, and then go from the right direction. We may try to throw the spinnaker up. But for now, we're just kind of out here sailing. And uh, it's very crowded today. Lots of other boats out there, lots of sailboats. And uh, it is a Saturday, so that's typically a pretty crowded day. But you can see around here, we've got all the sails up and we're just cruising along. Here's one thing that, that I've kind of been working on. We got this Genoa here from North Sails and they came to measure it. And one of the things that I said that I wanted to avoid was getting a, uh, or having, and I'll try to see if I can point to it, but the bottom of the sail, so this bottom edge of the sail right there, avoid having that rub against the bow pulpit, which is right there. So I wanted to avoid that. So I asked them to cut it a little higher so it doesn't rub against that. Um, and what he did instead, he said he could put a pennant on there, which is like a little stretch of line. And you can kind of see it hanging down right about there. That little white uh, piece of webbing is hanging down there. So I had that up originally, but with that pennant on there, I felt like I could not get the luff of the sail tight enough. So, cause I think the pennant is a little too long. So I took the pennant off and then pulled the sail down and I was able to get the, the luff tight enough. So what I may try to do is make my own pennant, maybe like a short, a little bit shorter than that one and then see how that works. Because right now the sail is actually working perfectly. Like uh, over here, like the shape of the sail and everything, we're kind of on kind of close haul-ish right now. So the shape of the sail is looking great without the pennant. And I think it's because I was able to get the luff of the sail tight enough. So I may try to shorten that um, that little pennant right there up a little bit and then try it again and see if I can still keep that, that uh, luff tight. 